Hello, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network, and in today's clip, I'd like to share with you a beautiful insight into Sukkis. Everybody knows that Sukkis is a holiday that we call Zman Simchasenu, the time of our simcha, the time of our happiness, time of our gladness, and we think it's a very happy time, and come Sukkis, if we were not feeling simcha, may, hopefully that'll fade away. I'd like to share with you now a beautiful insight that shows how Sukkis, as man simcha senu, extends in a way even beyond what you might have imagined up to now. So here we go. There's a commentary called the Roy Keach. The Roy Keach was a Risha in a med- medieval commentary. He says like this, if you look in the Chumash, in the beginning of the Chumash, in the beginning of the Torah, in Parshish Chai Sarah, the Torah says that Avraham discovered that his wife Sarah passed away. She died. Sarah died after the Akedah. And he came to, to uh, say Hespedim. He came to say eulogies for her. V'liv Kaisa. And to cry over her. V'liv Kaisa. If you look in the Chumash, you see that the letter Kaf, which looks like kind of like a, like a C, kind of like a backward C over there in the Chumash. But with Kaitsa, the letter Kaf over there is small. Why? Why is it small in the Chumash? Well, it's small in the Chumash because it's small in the Sefer Torah. If you open any Torah scroll, the letter Kaf over there is small. Why is the letter Kaf small? Well, Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu to write it that way. But why? What's the Dvar Torah over here? So listen to the Rekeach, and I'm going to tie this back into Sukkis. What happened? Rekeach writes that the Akedis Yitzchak, the binding of Yitzchak, that took place on what day? That took place on Yom Kippur, which is the 10th day of the month of Tishrei. Okay? So after the Akedah, after the binding of Isaac, Avram Avinu, he had to go home. And now how long did it take him to get home? Well, the Torah says that it took Abraham three days to travel from his home to the Akedah. So it would take him three days back. So if the Akedah was on the 10th of Tishrei, add three. How long would it take him to get home? The 13th of Tishrei. Says Rekeach, when Avram would get home, he would discover Nebuch that his wife had passed away. So obviously he would mourn and start the, the Shiva process, the mourning process. Now the Gemara says in Mayad Kutten, Mar says in the Chav Zayin Amid Beis 27b in Mayid Kutten, it says in the Talmud, it says in Shas, that the, that the mourning period is for seven days, but the intense crying period is for a maximum of three days. Three days for the most intense crying, and seven days for the mourning. So what happened? So Avram Avinu, he came home, it was 13 to Tishrei, he starts the mourning for his wife, and lo and behold, he's not able to have the entire mourning period because... And that was on the, he came home 13, and they started this. But what happened on the 15th of Tishrei? Came the holiday of Sukkis, Man Simchasenu. And, and when a, once a yuntif comes, once a holiday comes, the period of mourning of Shiva basically is ended and it's cut off. It comes to a premature end. So it says the Rakeach. Why is the letter Kaf over there? Believe Kaisa, that Avram cried over his wife. Why is the letter Kaf small? The reason the letter Kaf is small is because Avraham's period of crying, Believe Kaisa, that he came to cry over her, to bewail her, to cry tears over her, it was actually cut short because he didn't have the full three days of crying. He only had two because the holiday of Sukkis came and interrupted. So why am I telling you this, Rokeach? You see that when something's true, as the Torah says, it's true on every single level. Sukkis, I'm suggesting to you, it's not just Mansim Chasenu. You see that even by Avraham Avinu, even by Abraham, when he wanted to mourn for his wife, came Sukkis, believe Kaisa, the letter Kaf is small because Sukkis interrupted his Shiva period. Anyway, don't you find that very interesting? You see an interesting insight that's connected to the arrival of Sukkis, Zaman Sem Chasenu, the time of our gladness, even connected from an unexpected place with a small letter in the Torah and Parshas Chaye Sara. Hope you enjoyed today's clip. This is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. Uh, please follow me on Torah anytime and we'll send you more shiurim. Also check out my brand new station uh, channel on YouTube. We have unbelievable content there that you're not going to find anywhere else. Have a great day.